Hello, friends. This is the last trumpet broadcast coming to you from EWRC Studio. We're hearing the last trumpet begin to blow with my co host here, Amen. Ronan, Praise Minister Roman, Ronan Simpson. So, that's an original track. You'll hear this cover more later about the last trumpet. And the last trumpet is really blowing. There's some new, this news is coming so fast, Minister Rowan. Amen. We're seeing, you know, explosions, you know, right. as, this, as though the pandemic and all the, 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 the death and destruction of the plague, really just a plague. Amen. As Earth though that wasn't enough, now we're getting, you know, we have all kind of turmoil in the political realm. Right. And we have uh, the world, looks like it's, you know, economically sure. uh, in turmoil. There's a lot of changes going on. Yeah, individual yeah. people maybe ha are doing okay, but overall, right. there's a lot of economic uh, turmoil, yes, uh, unrest, you know. And then now we have explosions like in right. Nashville. Right. And now we have the news we just came in and hearing about Iran. Yes. So if you didn't know that the Bible said that there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, but he said the end is not yet. So as one man said in a recent dream that we published online, uh, uh, one pastor, brace yourself. That was his dream. Wow. The church, the body of Christ needs to brace itself. Mm -hmm. We need to get ready and prepare our gird up our loins spiritually amen. amen so your mind is prepared we were talking last week about the christmas dream and we are just the day after christmas here Praise and we're God. having the christmas dream and we just talked briefly about how god worked through dreams even at the christmas season how the angel appeared to Joseph in a dream, Amen. how Joseph was truly a man of God and of integrity, and how the angel named Jesus in the dream. Hallelujah. Jesus was given his name in the dream. Right. Amen. You didn't get to name him out of a baby book. Hallelujah. His name shall be called yes. Jesus. Amen. And it has a meaning. And Amen. it's a very important. He's the only one that can save his people from their sins. That's right. And so in the spirit of the last days and of the spirit of prophecy, the Bible says that the prophetic spirit, not just telling the future, but the anointing of the Holy Spirit to, for God to speak through to and through yes. his people, that's the spirit of prophecy. Amen. And Amen. Uh, that's our series. So in the Christmas season, it's appropriate, Joseph, was a dreamer yes in the old testament and the new testament that's right glory to god amen both joseph yes and so now we want to move on and talk a little bit more about the prophetic spirit and we want to talk about spiritual dreams so amen. if you take a look at job with us here uh minister ronan yes uh let's let's start with job what he says about dreams Amen. So we're going to go to the 33rd chapter of Job. Amen. And we're going to read from the King James Version, verses 14 through 17. It says in the 14th verse, For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, amen, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. Glory be to God. Wow, that's rich, isn't it? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. So this passage, we're talking about dreams. The Bible says in the book of Acts, one of the characteristics of the last 
days, the end times, the times in which the, the biblical trumpets are blowing. We were already under some, the trumpets have already begun to sound. Amen. And one of the characteristics is, he says, in the last days, you know, young men will see visions. That's right. And your old men will dream dreams. And then he says, even on my handmaidens, my, 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 my women, the women of God and your daughters, I'll pour out of my spirit. And, and so dreaming dreams, that means, I like that phrase dreaming dreams, because it means there's dreams, but then there's dreams. Amen, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Dreaming of dreams, yes. Yeah, so well, you, can have, you can have just a dream, which is a normal function of the human spirit. Right, right. But then he says, they're gonna dream dreams. Dream meaning dreams. These are, these are dreams that are prophetic in Amen. nature. They're, 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 they're speaking from the spiritual realm to you. Right. So you can dream, everybody dreams, whether they're, uh, uh, whether they're spiritually uh, messaging from uh, the spiritual world, from God. In this case, of like we saw Joseph, an angel. Um, Amen. God himself appeared, spoke in dreams. But, uh, but we normal function is your own spirit will dream. Right. And so this passage I like because it's explaining why we dream. Amen. The God's Amen. plan in it, some of the reasons. He mm. says that God <laughs> speaks once. Right. Yeah. Yea, twice, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. 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 Right. And then how does he speak? Dreams. In Lord a dream. God. In a dream. In a vision of the night. Yes, in a vision of the night. So a dream can be a vision of the night. Amen. Vision Amen. meaning you're seeing into the spiritual realm. Yes. It's but it's occurring at night. Yes. As you sleep. But it's really a vision. Amen. And then this is occurring when deep sleep falleth upon men. Sure. When they're in their slumberings upon the bed. Yeah. So so we're we're looking at mm. at dreams as related to the prophets and the prophetic, and they're they're have very, very heavy influence in the Bible. Then it says he opens the mm. ears of men, yeah, and he seals their instruction. Wow. What ears? Your ears wow. are already open, right? Wow. I mean, what is he talking about? Your spiritual ears. Amen. Glory to God. So physical ears and spiritual ears. Yes. are not the same. Amen. Because your physical ears may be open and hearing what we're saying, but are your spiritual ears That's right. open? Yes, glory to God. So if we talk about the prophetic, yeah. we're talking about the spiritual mm -hmm. hearing. Amen. Because he said in Jerry, they will not hear in Matthew. That's right. In, in seeing, they will not see. Glory be to God. And this is a strong, strong uh, passage of scripture here because it's obvious that when we speak verbatim, um, it says that they're not perceiving it. So we have to grasp you while you're in a subconscious mode, while your body's at rest, but your spirit man is always awake, like we shared in the previous yes, broadcast. That's right. That's right. And so because God is so merciful and loving, and for many who have been brought up in different beliefs, cults, and all that, they're having these dreams now that mm. Jesus is the Lord and Savior. He's Amen. the only way Amen. to eternal restoration because the time is winding up. So that's why we're on this broadcast, Saturday night, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Back in the day, what did we be doing Saturday night? You know? Something else, yeah, yeah. Something but, else. But we're we're <laughs> dreaming now that the multitudes are gonna come in, amen. Well, Hallelujah. the multitudes need to hear, you know, at least if they come in, that's good for them. But amen. we already know that the Bible says wide is the road to destruction, yeah, and many there be many. They're there gonna be. go in that way. Right. Narrow is the way yes. that leads to life. Few there be that find it, relatively few. Yes. But it will be a lot of people. But it's going to be 
few in comparison. Few in comparison. Right. Yeah. And so we have to, when you're when you're in the prophetic, I was meditating in the book of Ezekiel earlier, and and God was telling him, hey, these people are stubborn. They're rebellious. They're right. not going to listen. He's talking about his own people, Israel. Sure. Sure. He says so. Don't let don't let that stop you, Ezekiel. Yeah. Because you still have a responsibility to tell them. Amen. That's right. And he said, if you don't tell them, yeah, the blood will be upon your hands. That's right. I'm going to hold you accountable. Wow. Wow. So we are telling. <laughs> Amen. We're telling. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But, yes. but we also believe that uh, many will hear. Thank yes. God. Amen. And, uh, if you don't hear now, I don't know when you would hear, because right now the signs yeah. are all around you yeah. of the end times. Amen. The last trumpets, the trumpets are blowing. They are blowing. The sequence. We get, we're going to get heavily into the last trumpet at another time and some of the sequence of trumpets and some of those things. But those things are going to deserve their own deep dive. But we will say that the trumpets represent whole periods of time mm. in the end time sequence. Amen. And right. it will culminate with a last shofar, is the Hebrew word. It's, it's just a shofar Amen. here. Amen. At the appointed time, the trumpet shall blow. That's what my bag says. Amen. And my shofar bag. And so it's going to, it's going to wrap up with a great <laughs> splash. Right. And, and, and the last trumpet begin to blow. But I believe we're already hearing it. It's being heard around the world in the spirit realm. Uh, the shofars, the Hebrew trumpet is blowing already. Amen. Glory be to God. And, and what happens is corresponding events are happening in the world. Right. And uh, we just see, see it unless you have what? Ears to hear. Ears to hear. Yes. Amen. I like when it says the dreams happen when deep sleep follows upon That's right. Dream. Yeah. When you, when you, mm. when, when you don't have mm -hmm. a, a, a consciousness, you're vulnerable. Right. Yes. Whereas when you're conscious, you filter everything through your conscious mind. So right. that can mean that also, though, you don't listen to God. That's right. Because anything he says, you filter it right. through your conscious. Right. But when you're asleep, he can talk to you. Amen. And even if it's scary, you have to listen. You have to listen. Amen. Even if it's a warning, you, you have, have to listen. You have to listen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why the word of God says, put on the helmet of salvation. Mm, yes. Because as a man think it, so is he. That's right, in his heart. Yes. So God is able to get into Amen. things we consciously won't listen. When? When deep sleep yeah. falleth upon man. Right. You got to wait to that deep sleep. Or the scientists, uh, in medical science, they call it REM, you know. Yes. REM sleep. Yeah. Your eyes and the blink, it all, all actually changes. You go into a deeper sleep. You start mm -hmm. out in a shallow sleep, and then you go into a deep sleep, which the Bible already right. said that years ago, God, of course, knows us. He says, I'm bringing it when you go into a deep sleep, yes. when your mind is not getting in my way. Amen. Glory to God. Now, we talked also that demons also come into the dreams, but, but this is talking about God's plan. Sure. He opens the ears, the spiritual ears, and he seals their instructions. Wow, yes. think about that. Yes. He seals their instructions. What do you get from that? Wow, he seals. In other words, there's no questioning it in that very moment that he's making it very clear to you um, that what he's speaking is truth. Mm -hmm. you know, there, there's no undenying, there's no wavering, there's no questioning. And, mm -hmm. and it, it all pretty much culminates to one thing. When we stand before him, we're not going to be able to deny the fact that we have been warned mm -hmm. repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so many of these teachings, the, 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 the last trump, it, it's a warning to the people out there right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. You hear in the song that one will be taken and one will remain. Mm -hmm. One will be in the field and one will be taken. And so it's a warning, people of God, right now. More than anything else, it's a clarion, urgent call to, to, to search your life and to 
see where you're at with the Lord if you even surrender to him. And so if they listen to what you're saying, a warning, that's an instruction. Amen. That's so, right. So again, through yeah. the dreams. Right. Through the visions. Amen. Of the night. Yes. There's actually instructions in those dreams, mm -hmm. which is why it's important yeah. to pay attention. He says, man perceiveth it not. Mm. So people are being spoken to at night in dreams mm. and they don't perceive what God, but, wow. but the Bible says we have to seek to find. He That's says right. you seek me. So That's right. a lot of them are not here because they're ignoring, they're thinking all their dreams are just mm. pizza dreams and, and whatever's on my mind. And a lot of your dreams are, but not all of them. Some of them is God is trying to speak to you yes. in your dreams. And man is not perceiving it. Wow. And the Holy Spirit just dropped this on me right now. That the enemy is using medication, pharmacia, mm -hmm. to manipulate the mind so that you can't even dream properly. You're, you're, you're tossed to and fro. You're double-minded. Mm -hmm. People are having challenges, sleeping, mm -hmm. resting. It's torment. Yeah. Because yeah. fear produces torment. Yeah, and so that's why the earth is being saturated. You said something very powerful. You said because we don't fear God, mm -hmm. people are fearing Satan. Mm -hmm. and yeah, they can't even sleep at night right now because of what's happening. Then they go to the medication, and now they're disorientated that they can't even. Their spirit is not at rest mm -hmm. to hear from God. Yeah, yeah, and and, and really that's something for us to to get into more later. But that's a good point. I mean, they, they, that the Lord is bringing out that drug use. Yes. Notice one of the one of the things of the end yes. time. Yes. Drug use has increased. Yes. Right. Right. And people have become more. People have become more. Uh, uh, more lenient. Yeah. And more lax and, right. and, and and like, hey, it's not a big deal. Right. Right. Yeah. And, right. Uh, but yet it is a big deal when you understand that it sure. opens up, you up. In the in the spirit realm, many drugs are That's opening right. you up yes. in the spirit yes. realm. Yeah, and, and 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 so demonic spirits and other right. things come into play. Right. But like you said, it's it's Amen. it's God that wants to speak to us. Amen. Amen. And man not perceiving it. Mm. So I want to hit this last one verse there yeah. because it's very important. Verse seventeen. This is really powerful. For yes. Us. That he may withdraw man from his purpose, from his purpose and hide pride mm -hmm. from man. So, mm -hmm. really, this is a profound scripture because yes. it's telling you why God speaks through dreams rather than to come to you and talk to you directly face to face. Yeah. Because you're too prideful. Right. Amen. God is too big, too mighty, too strong, too Amen. powerful, too great. Remember we were singing the song earlier at the cross. I was singing the song, yeah, yes. and, and, and they took that hymn and and they took the one of the phrases out of it. Says, you know, uh, uh, where the, the the hymn writer originally said, "For such a worm as I, as I, yeah, would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I?" Right. That's how the hymn writer said. It. Right. Well, they changed it later because it's like I'm not a worm. I, I'm not going to sing that. Mm. But compared to God, we're less than a worm. Thank you. It's Thank a comparison you. to God Almighty. Right. But yes. why did we do that? Because of pride. Pride. That's right. Pride. We, we, we. God says, I'm, gonna, I'm not coming to you. You're not going to see me face to face. Amen. I'm not coming down to your level and talk to you like I'm a man. Because I'm not a man. I'm God. Yeah. You seek me and you will find me. Hallelujah. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he'll lift you up. And he will exalt you. Amen. So he says, I'm going to speak to man, but I'm coming in and I'm going to hide it from him. I'm going wow. to withdraw him from my purpose. And if he's hungry, he'll seek me. Yes. See what God is doing. He's speaking to you. But he's desiring that you desire him. him. Amen. That's right. There's an exchange going on. It's a two-way relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Amen. And you know, when Paul is speaking to young Timothy in 1 Timothy, uh, there are several words used there. Uh, he says that perilous times will come and that men will be prideful. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. he says men will be lovers of money, but then he goes on to say men will be arrogant. Mm -hmm. Men mm -hmm. will be boastful. Boastful. It's almost like a repetition. Lovers of their own, their of own, their own selves. selves. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah, so uh, if that's the way he's going to get us through dreams, then um, praise be to God. Well, he's speaking through dreams to high pride, pride man. man. So, yes. in other words, if you were to go and say, hey, I want to talk to the president of the United States, right? whether it's Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Barack yes. Obama, anybody that holds some great office, Amen. you respect that that is a great man or right. woman. And so, you would not just expect that they're going to walk up and talk to you face to face unless you were being honored for some reason. Amen. Or you had some special mission or purpose. It would yeah. be an exception. You don't expect to walk in, hey, here I am. Yeah. I, my name is John Doe, and I'm coming in to see the president. Yeah. So open up. Right, right. No, no, you're going to good you're gonna get it through surrogates. You're gonna have a letter sent to you. Amen. You you're not expecting if you do get a call from the president, you'll be like, whoa, right. the president himself is talking to Amen. me. Yes. See, why? Because you know, you respect his, that he, that office is a great office. Amen. Even if you don't like the man, you probably respect, you should respect the office. That's right. That's what the word But says. who are we dealing with? Yeah. Glory be to God. Who are we dealing with here? Yes. Somebody king. greater than the president. The king of kings and lord <laughs> of lords. Yes. Hallelujah. The King of Kings, the yes. President of Presidents, Hallelujah, Glory. the Creator of the internet, mm. and yet we want to talk to Him with disrespect. Wow, take Him for granted. Help us, God. See, and so He says, "No, I'm going to withdraw man from my purpose." Amen. If He wants the purpose, if He wants my plan, yeah. if He desires me, He's going to seek me. He's going to try to understand these dreams. Amen. Glory to God. He's going to He's going to ask, "What does this parable That's mean?" Right. That's right. Right. Yes. Like the disciples, yes. the same thing when they talked yes. about the disciples and the parables. Why do you speak in parables? Because to you it is given, to them it is not. It is not. If Amen. they want it, they will seek yes. the truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you want to understand what's happening in end times, right. you'll seek you'll the truth. You'll seek the truth. Amen. That's right. If you want to stay in the dark, that's because you're too prideful. You're too prideful. Amen. You're not humbling yourself. That's realizing right. that you need, we need God in this hour. Glory we need God. only the Lord yeah. can can uh, really provide what's needed in this hour. Amen. Everyone's going to be great deception. Great deception. So how are we going to escape that deception? Right. Only the Lord. Amen. So I, I, I love this last verse, Job 33, 17, and we, I can't close any better on it uh, than that. Uh, Minister Ronan, he tells us why he's speaking to you mm. through dreams. Yes. Why he's speaking to you through yes. dreams Amen. and me through dreams, because he wants us to seek him. Glory to God. He says we don't perceive it, and he's withdrawing yes. so that we would pursue him. I think of the scripture, David says, as the deer pants for the water. Yes. What? So does my soul longeth after thee. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Hallelujah. Because he withdrew, but I'm hungry. I'm coming after hey. him. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank I you need God. him. <laughs> oh, I need I, him. I need you, Lord. I Hallelujah. Need you. I need That's you, what Lord. God wants. And that's that love Amen. relationship right. that, that develops. God Amen. says, oh, this one is hungry. This one really loves me. This one's searching through the dreams, through the visions. Wow. They're digging. They are my bride. Yes. See, wow. That's yes. the love. God loves the one that loves hey, him. Hey, thank you, Glory Lord. to God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I, I got to shout. Amen. <laughs> I can't blow Glory the, drum, the show far, so I'm going to shout. Praise amen. God. Amen. We'll blow the show far. So, we just wanted to uh, uh, take you through another uh, a step in our series on dreams Amen. as we're into the last trumpet 
the, the spirit of prophecy, the prophetic spirit. Yes. And uh, I think uh, uh, dreams, especially at this Christmas season, yeah. very appropriate because dreams played a very important part of the Christmas story. Yes. And now, in the end times, dreams are very, very important. Everybody's being spoken to at some point in dreams in various ways. Mm -hmm. And we want to explore that through the prophetic yes, of the experience. Uh, so glad you're with us. Brother, uh, you want to uh, 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 close us with a, a word of prayer? Amen, certainly. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for yes. us, this time for us to come together, Lord, and to, yes. to better serve you, Lord. And Hallelujah. Thank you for ears to hear and eyes to see, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that the dreams are not being cast aside, Lord, but yes. many are coming to know you, Lord God, mm. through these dreams and visions, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God, that we will be obedient like the men of God in the Bible. Job, what he had to go through because of his dreams, and Joseph, both Joseph, what they had to go through because of dreams, Lord God. Mm, yes, Lord. Lord, we pick up our crosses today, and we don't just believe, cross. but yes. Lord, we suffer for this gospel, Lord God Almighty. Yes, Lord. For the flesh is enmity with you. You said, I have to put you in a place where I can speak to you in this dream because you're so prideful. Your flesh is enmity towards me, and, mm. and I need to tell you something right now. Yeah. Your yeah. word says, Lord God, that the sheep knows the shepherd's voice. Mm. And yeah. another voice they will not follow. Yes. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the word of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We yes. thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 Glory we'll leave to you God. with some thoughts on the last trumpet. And Amen. we will hope and look forward to uh, seeing you in our next broadcast. Amen. Amen.